Welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, don't throw away your shield. Cast on away therefore your confidence, which had a great recompense of reward. For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of God, ye might receive the promise. Now they just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Above all, take in the shield of faith, wherein ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Hebrews 10, 35 to 39, Ephesians 6, verse 16. The most ancient and universal weapon of defense is the shield. In old times, the shield was prized by a soldier above all other pieces of armor. He counted it a great shame to lose his shield and to lose the battle, and therefore he would not part with it even under the foot of the enemy, but would esteem it a honor to die with his hand on his shield. It was a charge which one's mother laid on her son going into war. Either bring your shield home with you, or be brought home upon your shield. She would rather have her son dead with his shield than alive without it. Every Christian is a born warrior. It is his destiny to be assaulted. It is his duty to attack. The shield that Paul writes about was a large shield that covered the entire body. The shield was called a gate or a door because it was large enough to cover the entire body. The enemy may throw fiery darts from any direction, so with the shield no part of the body was unprotected. Psalm 5 verse 12 remind us, For thou, Lord, will bless the righteous, with favor will thou compass him as with a shield. The shield of faith is the only thing that can quench the fiery darts of the wicked one. We stand our ground by faith. If we lose our faith, we lose the battle. Shields were anointed to help preserve them and also to help darts to easily glide off the shield. Our whole body is capable of being set on the fire of hell. There are things in all of us in which the fiery darts especially appeal. Desires, appetites, passions, lusts which war against the soul and which needs only one touch of fire to ignite it. Sometimes the temptation is leveled at our head. At the saint's reasoning, Satan will dispute truth and if he can, will make us question what we believe. Sometimes it is the will that temptation tries to sneer. Listen, some of God's commands cannot be obeyed without self-denial because they cross us up in circumstances where our wills desire to rule. We must deny our will to do his. David again reminds us in Psalm 91 verse 4, He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. I encourage you today, child of God, no matter what happens, don't lose your shield of faith. The thought of the day, we stand our ground by faith. If we lose our faith, we lose the battle. God bless you today, in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated. We make a miracle walker, promise keeper, light in the darkness.